Okay, so we proceed. So we have this uh, question, which is also asking us to sketch. So we have, um, it's asking us to sketch the curves of these exponential functions. So in a similar way, we solved question three. This is how we are going to solve this one as well. So how do we start or how do we uh, solve this? So we have f of x being equal to uh, e to the power negative x. So e should not confuse you. This is a number, this is just a number on a calculated something like 2.718 going up. It has, um, yeah, it's 2.71 going up. So I'm going to take e as 2.7. Yeah, so this is just uh, an approximate value of e. And then when you see e there, should always be seen 2.7. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to find the horizontal asymptote. So the horizontal asymptote of this uh, equation is, uh, is uh, we don't have anything this side. So with the horizontal asymptote is going to be y is equal to what? Zero. So we now draw the, we can now draw the table of values. So the table of values is, um, a table that consists of uh, some of the coordinates that are going to use to sketch the graphs. So we put X there and then we put F of X there. So if we put, we can try to find a number that we can plug there so that we have a zero as a numerator. And how do you find that number? So you equate the numerator, uh, we have a zero as the power rather, not the numerator. So we can equate the power to zero. So if we put the power to zero, uh, we have negative x is equal to zero. So the value of x will still be what? Zero. So we can put zero there. And then if we put zero there, we're going to have e to the power zero, which will give us one. And then we can also find another number that we can put there so that we have, um, so that we have this uh, numerator to be equal to one. So I'm going to have, I'm going, in short, I'm going to equate negative x to what? I'm going to equate the power to one. So X is going to be what? Negative one. So if I put negative one, where there's X there, I'm going to have E to the power negative, negative one. And this will give me E to the power one, which is just E. So I'm going to have, so I'm saying, in other words, I'm trying to say, if X is negative one, the value of F of X will be what? To still be E. So we can now sketch the graph. So sketching the graph of this is simple. So we first have to draw the horizontal asymptote. So the horizontal asymptote is simply just um, y is equal to zero, which is just along the, which is just going to be along the x axis. So it's going to be along the x axis. So from there, uh, having drawn the horizontal asymptote, we can now start sketching. So sketching, we first putting the, uh, the coordinates that we have found. So the first set of coordinates is 0, 1. So we can put 0, 1 there. So 0, 1, it will be somewhere there. And then we also have um, negative 1, comma, e. So negative 1, comma, e. So if my e is there, I'm going to have the point to be somewhere there. So as you can see, this tells me that the curve is going to be like this. So this is how the curve is going to be moving. Okay. So let us quickly move on to the next one, which is this one. So the next one is also drawn in a similar way. So we have G of X, which is equal to E, x plus one minus two. So the first thing that we need to do is to find the horizontal asymptotes. So the horizontal asymptote is simply just the number which is there. So the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to negative two. Then the other thing that follows up is to find um, the, the coordinates that we're going to use that are going to show us the direction of the curve. So the first coordinate that we're, that we're going to, um, okay, let me first put x there. Then there we have g of x. So if x, if x 
or we find um, two numbers that we can replace at, uh, I mean, we can replace with X and uh, so that the powers that we have, the, the first power that we should have is one. The second power that we should have is uh, zero. So how do we do that? It's simple. You simply just equate the power there. The first part, you equate the power to uh, zero. So, so what this means is that you want the, the, the power here to be zero. So you equate the power to zero so that you have X. When this one crosses the equal sign, you have the first value of X to be what? Uh, negative one. So the, my first value of X would be negative one there. And then the other part is by, the other part is by equating the numerator, which is X plus one uh, to what? The first one, we equated it to zero. This time around, we equate it to one. In short, what I'm trying to say is that I want my power to be one. So this is what I'm going to have. So this will cross the equal sign and um, I'm going to have X being equal to what? Zero, because this is going to be one minus one. So I'm going to have zero. So the other X value is going to be what? Zero. And let us now find the solutions to um, these two values. So what happens if we equate, uh, rather if we replace the value of X there with negative one? Let's see what happens. So if we equate, um, if we equate, or rather if we replace the value of X with negative one, we're going to have, so in other words, we're trying to find G of negative one. This is going to be what? E to the power negative one plus one minus two. So negative one plus one will give us what? A zero. So we're going to have E to the power zero minus two. E to the power zero, the answer is one. One minus two, the answer is what? Negative one. So we're still going to have negative one there. We also do the same for the second value of zero, which is, um, I mean, the second X value here. So we replace uh, zero, what is X there? So we find G of what? Zero. And this is going to give us what? Um, G of zero is going to give us E to the power zero plus one, then minus two. So zero plus one there will give us what? Um, zero plus one will give us one. Then we have minus two. Remember I said, I'm going to take E as um, 2.7 because 2. Point e on the calculator is simply just 2.718 going up like that. It, it, it has numbers continuously. Yeah, so I'm just going to round it off to one decimal place as 2.7. So I'm going to replace 2.7 there. So I'm going to have 2.7 minus, Two, and this is going to give me 0 0.7. So I have 0 0.7 as one of my values there. So I can now quickly sketch the graph. So my center there is zero, and then I have my X axis, Y axis. So the next thing that I'm going to have is um, draw or rather, um, put the horizontal asymptote there. So the horizontal asymptote is uh, negative two. So my horizontal asymptote is negative two. And then I put in these values. So the first one I have is negative one comma negative one. So I have one point there. Then I have zero comma 0 0.7. I have zero comma 0 0.7. So 0 0.7, I'll assume it to be there. So 0 comma 0 0.7 to be there. So this implies that my curve is going to go like this. So this is how my curve is going to come out. It's very simple. It's not something that is complicated to, to know. Let us do the last part there. So the last one, which is H of X is equal to e to the power x minus four minus one. The first thing that we do, we locate the horizontal asymptote. So the horizontal asymptote is simply just y is equal to negative one. The other thing that we do, we um, draw the table of values. So we have x there, we have h of x this side. And then how do I know the values that I'm going to put this side? So I'm going to equate x minus four to zero. And then I'll also equate x minus four to what? To one. So 
x minus four, when this x, uh, I mean, when this four crosses the equal sign, the value of x becomes four. When this negative four crosses the equal sign, the value of x becomes, um, um, this would be one plus uh, four. Uh, the value of x becomes what? Five. So these are the two values that I'm going to use. So the first value I'm going to use is what? Four. The second value I'm going to use is five. Okay. So we quickly find what they are what are they are what they are corresponding uh, uh, values are. So if we replace four what is x they are going to have. So if we find h of four, we're going to have e to the power of four minus four, then minus one. So four minus four gives us what? Uh, zero. So we have e to the power zero. So we have e to the power zero minus one. So e to the power zero gives us what? One. One minus one to give us zero. So we put zero there. Then we also find h of five. h of five, this will be e to the power five minus four. Then we have minus one there. So five minus four gives us what? One. e to the power one minus one. So e to the power one is just the same as 2.7 minus one. So 2.7 minus one, this will give me 1.7. So sketching this is also simple. The first thing that we do is we locate or we put in or we draw the line for the horizontal asymptote. So we have the horizontal asymptote, which is uh, negative one. So I'm going to draw it there. And then the other, um, the other thing is we plug in. So here I found 1.7, 1.7. So we plug in these uh, coordinates, 4.0, so we have um, one, two, three, four. So I have four, comma what, comma zero, which is just this same point. Then also have five, comma one point seven. So this is four, five will be somewhere there. Five, comma one point seven. One point seven can be somewhere there. One point seven, and this is the coordinate there. So we expect the curve to move like this. It's not supposed to touch the asymptote. Okay, so this is the curve. This is how it's supposed to be sketched. So this is our edge of X. All right, so do we have any questions before we can proceed? Okay, so let's quickly move on. So I think I repeated the same questions to same question two times. So, okay. So um, let us join using this uh, same link, the same link that I sent to the group, so that we finish up these remaining two questions. <laughs> 